Howdy, folks. You know, somebody brought something to my attention that I thought was worthy of doing a video about. It's called fair use. So, if you do a video and you post it publicly, um, there are ways that people can use that video without your permission. It's called fair use. They use it for educational purposes. They use it for um, criticism, um, you know, things of this sort. But if you don't publish the video, it's never become public property because you are the property owner. It's your video. And if somebody were to leak it, okay, it's still not public property. It's stolen property. Think of it like this, like because somebody said that that I did a copyright strike on something that they did, and and uh, uh, they said that's not fair. That that you know, I, I'm a free speech advocate, and that you know, well, this video has never been made public. It was stolen, and and published without permission. And a lot of people don't realize it, but many of my videos, including this one, are copyrighted. So if you take that, you are misusing it, okay? It is not in the public domain. You are stealing, you're a thief. And, and if you know I'm copyright striking it to remove it, then you've opened yourself up. If you use that video, you have opened yourself up to legal action. You know I'm copyright striking it and taking it down. So that should tell you that it's not being used with with uh, my permission. So but anytime you want to use somebody else's video, and I get this all the time, I get people that email me and say, hey, can I use this video? And I have never said no to anybody. Um, now, I have gone back later and revoked my consent and asked them to remove it or made them remove it. Um, and you should be aware of that too. If you use somebody else's video with permission, at a later date, they may come back and, and ask that you remove it or, you know, insist that you remove it. Uh, there was a, I don't know if it, you guys are familiar with these, the, uh, the Beatles, this obscure group from the, uh, uh 1960s and early seventies. Um, they had done a, some, some work in the studio that was video recorded and audio recorded and somebody stole it and bootlegged it and the copyright owner which I believe was Michael Jackson at the time it made me recall Paul McCartney I can't remember now um, went after anybody that published it and got significant money damages for it because it was the video was stolen uh, if you go onto YouTube you will not find it it has been posted on YouTube and the people that posted it got themselves uh, into some deep doo-doo. So if you're going, the, the lesson today, <laughs> lesson today is if you're going to use somebody else's video, always, always get permission. Always ask. Um, that way you don't get yourself in, jammed up over fair use uh, because there are some unscrupulous people out there that, have stolen property and uh, are publishing stolen property, intellectual property. And, and those people, you know, could get you into trouble. They could cause you to get sued. If you, if you publish somebody's copyrighted material without permission, you can be sued. And if I'm not mistaken, I have to go back and look at the statute again. The minimum judgment is $100,000 right off the top. You owe $100,000 right off the top, uh, plus court costs. If it, is, if it is registered copyrighted, you also will owe attorney fees, court costs, travel, whatever else uh, they incur um, as well. So when it comes to fair use and copyrighted material, it's always best to ask permission. Ask permission. And uh, if you fail to do so, well... Whatever happens to you, happens to you, because if you publish it even for a day, just one day, 
you are liable for damages, monetary damages, significant monetary damages. Something to think about. Something to think about. And uh, that is my message for the day, guys. I'll see y'all again soon. Y'all be safe.